During this intermission phase, you will have one of two responsibilities. In both cases, you'll have to watch out for the safe spots from the bombs and blue fairy rings that are donuts. The first responsibility will be breaking chains from your partner and running away from missiles. And then the second responsibility will be running away from claws while doing a buddy stack. Now for the sake of easy numbers and an explanation, let's say the arena's diameter is 100 elms. So the chain requires you to stretch it about 90% the distance of the arena which is to say 90 ilms, needs to be added to the chain to stretch and break. So if you accidentally start at the edge of the arena, there is no way to stretch it an additional 90 ilms because there's just not enough room. Now, if you get tethered to a claw, you don't want the claw to touch you. And you also need to stack with the other person who is tethered to a claw because of a two person stack enumeration, all the while avoiding the missile people who have a Jimungus flare around them. So in this strategy, we will be orienting ourselves true north. The absolute priority number one is to provide enough room for the chains to run because it is very easy to not run far enough and the chains won't break. The donuts always spawn in the cardinal directions. That means opposing intercardinals will provide the farthest distance for the chain people to run. We'll start with the quote worst pattern here. If you get tethered to a missile, you always have to start as close to dead center of the arena as possible. The first thing we do is look for the solo safe bomb, and then we note which intercardinal position it is located. This will be where one of the missile people will go. In this example, it will be southwest is the solo safe bomb, which means the other missile person is going to be going to the northeast. Always aim to go between the ferry lines as it's a very good guide so that the chain people go directly opposite of each other. These will always be safe spots provided you chose the safe bombs. And then whatever remaining safe bomb that is not taken by the missiles will be the location for the claws to meet up and stack. Make sure you detour with the claws because they can easily catch up to you if you go straight to the safe spot. And then for the sake of completeness, the quote easy pattern, the claws will be going to the center safe bomb and then the missiles will head to the outer ones. And obviously for both patterns, the missiles dictate the direction you go. So pick the safe spot that's farthest from the missile. One particular pattern might be a little tricky, but it's not too bad once you get the hang of it. Whenever the north bomb is safe, that it will always be where the claws end up. They will have to pay attention to where the missiles will be heading, either northwest or northeast, and then go to the opposite side. You can still detour with the claws to go directly north and just use your eyes to see which way the missile person is going. And wherever that giant flare is, just go to the opposite side. And then once you start recognizing the pattern, it becomes very easy to adjust ahead of time. 